Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rukah Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in his last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking his truth. It's the brother Yarayala, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italy camp. And I just wanted to do this quick eat. Hopefully, it's going to be edifying to the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Shai. So, I'm going to start off by reading from the book of 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter, the 17th verse. It says, Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living power who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Now, as you can see, this kingdom that we actually live in, that's being run by the wicked Esau Edom, the so-called white man, it's a, it's a kingdom that promotes a lot of um, pride, pride in material riches, pride in, in, in uncertain riches, uncertain money, in which the money that's been used is known as fiat currency it, it's worthless it's just paper okay now real money according to the scripture and according to the life we're also living is gold silver and bronze now you have the top rich people of this world you know the people that are really real running things and the behind the banking families the queens and kings of this kingdom they all have gold they deal with gold they don't deal with the fiat currency that you know the regular man like you and i we use this money is just paper it's worthless okay so you see you can't put your mind in these riches because it's uncertain today um the value goes up tomorrow it comes down next tomorrow it crashes and another new currency comes in these are things <laughs> that are going to remain here these things are not going to save you in the days to come you know the scripture also tells you that you know um lay your treasures where thieves cannot steal nor corruption can get to you know you should lay your treasure up there let me see if i can bring up that scripture real quick um Let me see. Please bear with me. Let me see Thieves. Can. this is the book of matthew 6 19 it says lay not lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal and the reason why i'm doing this lesson is just for the days to come because lots of people are putting away money, they're putting away different things, armory, food, and all that thing, you know. If the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is not with you and you're putting your trust in all these things, you are going to crash, man. You're actually preparing them for someone else. You see, there is something that's what's more more than anything you can imagine. You know, it's this truth, man, because this truth. Is what's going to lead you to eternal life and this truth itself is Yahweh Shai book of first John 1 and 3 I believe in um, from the first chapter it says uh, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God that word is Yahweh Shai our Savior so let's keep reading it says that they do good that they be rich in good works ready to distribute willing to communicate and this is referring to us in these days, man. We have to be good in good works. What, what are the good works? The good works are the works of faith. The works of this truth that we're doing. Studying the scripture, 
going out to teach the scripture you know doing our sit downs you know doing all these things sincerely and humbly man these are the good works man it says laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come that they may hold on eternal life so we by doing this work because it's a commandment yeah shall i say if you love me feed my sheep and this is what we do and we're not just doing this because we want to do it because you know well, we feel charged to do it we do it because we fear the most high yahweh yeah, shemi or shai you know so you see we're doing all this because we are, we are well, well the spirit is actually on us to do it because if the spirit is not on you to do it there is nothing you can do you can't do it so you really have to pray to the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai humbly to open your eyes to give you that spirit of understanding. You know, go read the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon. I believe the first, the fourth chapter. You know, it speaks about wisdom. Pray to the Most High. She comes via the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai. Now it says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings. And oppositions of science falsely so called now this timothy represents each one of us in this day you know what is committed unto us these laws the book of these laws are committed unto us this truth is being committed unto us from our elder apostles starting from the other apostle taha all the way down you know the bishops the, 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 the camp leaders you know the elders these people are committing to us the the, um, uh, the the words of the most high yahweh shemi or shai we have to hold them you know very we have to hold them very tightly this is our treasure man this is this is this is <laughs> we're laying up our money in a spiritual bank you know avoid false um profane and vain babbling opposition of science falsely so called you know this truth is not something you force onto people man if you try to teach someone and the person is not receiving is coming against you you know you dust your feet as the scripture says it says which some profess and have heard concerning the faith grace be with thee amen so you see this the script what i'm actually just pointing out is you know laying for yourself a, a, a beautiful treasure that cannot be destroyed now this is the book of ecclesiasticus also known as sirach the 29th chapter the 11th verse says lay up thy treasure according to the commandments of the most high yahweh shemi al shai and it shall bring thee more profit than gold shut up arms in thy storehouses and it shall deliver thee from affliction it shall fight for thee against thine enemies better than a mighty shield and strong spear and you see this is going to be the difference between we and the two thoughts that are in the world you know these people are doing what they do because they they, they don't they don't know they don't know the, the, the how powerful the most high is as a matter of fact they believe the so-called white man is more powerful than the most high so they are afraid of what man can do to them they are afraid of losing their jobs they are afraid of every damn thing you know fearful minds you know and the most high yahweh shimei Shai hates this it's in the book of um revelation but well, i'm not going to bring that out now it's part of that lesson you know so you should lay your treasures this truth is what you should hold on straight to because this is what's going to save you in the times to come and terrible days are really ahead man you know we're seeing all the other all other the, all the, all the, all the writings on the wall except you close your eyes and you, you purposely close your ears but you know the signs the prophecies are all speaking out loud and we know these are the last seconds of this kingdom that's run by the wicked salvation is right at the door so hold on strong don't give up and hopefully this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the most high yahweh shimei or shai like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, the men that taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity. And on to the next one, Shalom.